Good morning, everybody. It is, I keep pushing these up and they keep going down, so I'm just gonna leave them down, I guess, because that's all I need to push them up. It is, it is uh, Saturday, uh, May 22nd, 2022, at 9 a.m. It's actually 9.06 a.m. right now, and uh, it's time for the Angelus and Assam. Alexa, cancel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me just go grab some water and a packet of emergency. I'll be right back. Psalm 56 and 57. Have mercy on me, God. Foes crush me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. My foes crush me all day long. For many fight proudly against me. When I fear, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they distort my words. All their thought is to harm me. They band together in ambush, track me down and seek my life. Repay them, God, for their crimes. In your anger cast down the people. You have kept an account of my wanderings. You have kept a record of my tears. Are they not written in your book? Then my foes will be put to flight on the day that I call to you. This I know that God is on my side. In God whose word I praise. In the Lord whose word I praise. In God I trust I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? I am bound by the vows I have made you. O oh God, I will offer you praise, for you rescued my soul from death. You kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk in the presence of God and enjoy the light of the living. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Excuse me for a moment. Psalm 57. Have mercy on me, God have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to you, God the Most High, to you who have always been my help. May you send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. O God, send your truth and your love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour us one and all. My teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O oh God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I think that's from Psalm 108. Yes, it is. It's the beginning of Psalm 108. All right. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens. Look good in the temple. <laughs> Some people will get that joke if they see this. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. to show you uh, so you who are watching this will also get the joke as well um, just before just before prayer I was texting some uh, some ministry related stuff to different people that I know and one of them was this I'm going to show you
you know, we all like, we all want to look good in the temple. I, you know, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not, you know, I'm much more, you know, I don't think I have to make a case for this, but you know, uh, I will a little bit. It's a, you know, just or at least I will state this and not defend it. But um, I, I'm much more interested in substance than I am in a veneer of anything. That said, we all want to look good. You know, I've had days where. Actually, it's every day. Sometimes I'm evaluating um, what happened in, in the prayer video, you know, and I get really excited on days where, you know, if there's a lot, of, like, for example, uh, um, the uh, televangelism episode, you know, I rarely watch my own videos over again, and uh, the Lord doesn't let me do that right now, which is fine, because, you know, I, I, there's a reason for it, I'm sure. Um, but I did in the beginning. Um, well, like way back. And unusually, I watched the televangelism, uh, I was gonna say episode, but it is an episode of videos, you know, whatever. Um, but the, the televangelism, surf, whatever you wanna call it, doesn't really make a difference. Um, I watched it over uh, the entire thing, which is like almost an hour long, and I was really pleased with the way that came out. It was lots, you know what I mean? I like to bring up questions, I like to get people to think about the gospel, I like to. It doesn't always involve the Bible. Um, you know, I use examples from real life and uh, all kinds of different things like that. Um, and I felt really, really good about that. I felt really, really good about that. There are a couple episodes of of uh, where I that are heavily sexually themed. You know, not in the pornographic sense, but in the sense of like finding sexual health and healing. Um, I think those are very good. I'm always very pleased with those, you know. Um, so looking good in the temple, though, can be, can you know, it can also mean that. For example, like I feel I, I, I look great in the temple there, but in real life, in actuality, I wouldn't look good in the temple, you know, um, because if I were in church saying those things, it, it wouldn't be welcome. But um, with what I realize I've accomplished, you know, or the, rather that God has accomplished through me in that, in that video, it's bold. But, you know, just different ways of thinking about it, right? Um, I feel really, really good about that because, you know, wow, I feel like, you know, I hit a home run that day, that kind of thing. So, you know, it's natural for us to kind of have those, those feelings, definitely. And that's immediately what the Lord put in my mind right there is look at the devil. <laughs> and when I remember, I was going to the 108, right? I'm like, I hope I'm right on that, you know, and I happen to be. A couple times, every now and then I'm wrong about stuff like that, you know? But, um, you know, and I like to get that on camera too, in a way, because I also have days where I feel that makes me look really good in the temple as well. In fact, it always does, believe it or not, if you have the strength to sort of look at it that way, um, which which varies for us. You know what I mean? Like some days, I, some days I, I'm I'm really really pleased that I made a huge mistake, and other days uh, not. You know, um, it just it all depends on how the Lord will have us look at it. Um, all right, so let's do, let's see here. Um, oh, come on now. Mean baloney here. Oh, bullets. All right, well. Later, here I am in here. All right, let's see. Uh, try one more thing at least. Yeah, that's all said.
into the ground. Okay. Now. My phone is constantly filling up and then I can't take new pics. And that really kind of, it frustrates me because a lot of my ministry involves photos. So, uh, which you don't really see right now because there's, I, there's no way I can post a lot of my artwork um, here, you know, but I still do it. So, um, and music, which I work on, not as much in the past year, I would say, but um, I can't really post that. I, I can if I make time for it, but the thing is, is that um, I have to make a video from the WAV files that I have, and then usually I'm going to have to create some kind of screen so there's something to look at, and it's like that, I don't enjoy that. Honestly, I just don't enjoy that process, so I don't do it that much. I have a huge backlog of music I have not posted yet. I mean, yeah, massive. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nine a.m. Is he Fifty-six and fifty-seven. units. I gotta refill my medication soon too. I had this when I was homeless. I found it on the ground. Not looking good in the temple. All right. Or I found it somewhere, like something like that. It was like I either found, you know what I mean? I found it in a place you probably wouldn't, you know, yeah. So um, it may have been like left at the shelter or something like that too. I mean, something like that, but it's ripped, you know, it's pretty bad. It's clean. I'm not saying it's dirty or anything now, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's had it. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, by the way, I was homeless for three years, almost four years. And so this ministry is about uh, trying to help, I mean, everybody, but it's supposed to be, you know, kind of like for people like myself, you know what I mean, that have been homeless drug addicts before. So... Though I know on the, also, though, I know at the same time that most of them are not going to be interested in watching any of this, but, um, but I can't be the only person like me, so.
least that's the premise I go on, you know? In fact, yeah, I don't think I am. When you work, things get a little messy. Let's take a walk around. So, it's, it's hard to see, like, my closet, you know. Not too bad, but my living room, the living room here at St. Peter Shula, pretty much always stays the same, which is awesome. Because I don't spend a lot of time in here, <laughs> which is, you know what I mean? So that's nice. Table's fine. My dishes over here, I still need to do. And kitchen needs to be touched up. Let's turn on the lights. You know what that's from, by the way? That's from several days ago when I cleaned out the duct in the fan. Nothing really came out, which is good. So what I did, just had to do was open up the, uh, the little vent thing that, you know what I mean? That kind of closes it or opens it. Because I guess it, I had uh, not been careful enough to open it up the last time I cleaned out the fan, which you should do often, by the way, clean your bathroom fans, you know? I'll be right back when we turn the light off. So, um, the worst that ever got around here was Thanksgiving. 
I was so busy like during Thanksgiving. That, oh wow, every room. I mean, you think this is bad, which it is for me. This is bad. I don't like this. You know what I mean? So like, I definitely. Even if I don't get to it today, I'm always conscious of like, what are we gonna get to this? I need to get to this. And, uh, but um, but some stuff does take precedence. You know what I mean? Like ministry artwork, definitely. If, I, if I'm inspired to do that, it definitely takes precedence. Um, but it's not always an either or thing. You know what I mean? Um, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, or a lot of this, and then at least a little bit of this, a little, a lot of that, a little bit, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so. Oh. All right, so, you know what? Well, the only thing is that it looks kind of, looks like a Dutch angle almost this way. Um, I was just saying, because the lighting is better over here than by the window, but of the, you know, it's not all symmetric and stuff like that this way. I was gonna do number six for Ellen before we go. Let's see. Uh, Lord, help us with that. What do you think? For those of you that don't know what that term means, and I, you know, I heard, I've heard people say it's racist now or whatever, you know, whatever. Okay, like, it's just, you know, um, it's a term that means it's for somebody that uh, gives somebody something and, and, and takes it back, asks for it back later or whatever, you know, so. Um, but you don't hear that that much anymore. You know, that's a kind of an old school term. I don't know what the origins of it are. And, that, you know, like, it really depends on how, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think it's a bunch of nonsense about the, the racism thing there. Um, I know, I understand racism very, very well. I used to be, uh, well, not, I wasn't a card-carrying Nazi, but I was definitely a, uh, that was, I was a, a white nationalist in, in thought and attitude. And I absolutely know. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm acutely aware and keenly aware of like what racism when I come across it, and um, yeah, definitely not. You know, I, there was one time I, you know, one of my favorite stories is a Christmas story. You know, with the BB gun and the shoot your eye out and all that. 
And I came, one night I came across an article that had said that you know the the, uh, the the Chinese restaurant scene you know was racist, and so they removed it from this um, uh, a staged musical production version of it. And I was just like, "Are you?" Si I, I said, "Here's my reasoning on this. This is why it's not racism, though. All right, is that if I were um, if I were uh, born in China." As, as uh, you know, a white dude or whatever, my parents moved over there, let's say, or whatever, uh, and, uh, or I was raised by, uh, you know, if I was taken out of my environment, let's say I was just a white guy put in China and grew up there, right? And so, for example, let's say I learned to speak from Chinese people all around me, and then I came to the United States and tried to speak English, let's say. And back then, accents change, by the way, okay? So too, you don't hear like many, like there's not that, you don't hear people like Chinese people with, a, with an, a, speaking broken English saying Hari really much anymore. But that is supposed to be like an old school thing, I guess. Just kind of like the, the middle, what is it called? The mid-Atlantic accent for English? You don't, uh, the, you, know, you don't hear that anymore, really. It's an old school 1940s way of like speaking. Um, but if that had happened, so I come here now to the United States as a white guy, even though I was raised in China. And then people are going to be laughing at the way I speak, try to speak English, too. It has nothing to do with race at all. It has nothing to do with race at all. It has to do with culture. And it's nothing wrong with laughing at people's, you know what I mean? It happens all the time. Do you think if I went to, like, to Mexico and, start, you know, tried to speak Spanish, people are not going to laugh about that because it sounds funny to their ear. That's all. There's nothing, it's nothing personal at all. Now to some people it might be, that's a different issue, whatever. But like, you know, we shouldn't be afraid to laugh. At the, you know what I mean? We've gotten so paranoid about that kind of stuff. And the Lord, to be sure, wants us to, you know, be careful about things like that. And I'm sure that's why it is that way. But, um, but it's insane because that's one of the most funny fucking songs in the movie, you know, that, or, or like the, uh, parts of the movie is that, that Deck the Halls of Bows of Horror thing. <laughs> and I laugh, you know, and think about this too. Ask yourself, when you laugh at things like that, are you a racist? You know what I mean? Are you a racist person? Are you finding it funny? You know, some people use that to define backwards and that's really not a good idea. You know what I mean? I come to things with this. I'm a good person. I know what my intentions are. I know what I'm doing. And if I find it funny, then it's okay. Some people might go, well, that's bold. Well, maybe it is, but you know what? I know where I'm at. I know what I'm about, and I know what I'm, you know? So, like, absolutely, that's fine. Um, you know, there's too many people that really... Just, and the problem is, is that a lot of people know things, but then it's groupthink. When they get together, they all come up with, a, with you know, an idea or a solution or a... a resolution that uh, none of them really personally agree with that happens quite a bit you know um, it happens every, yeah I was gonna say it happens in churches a lot but it happens everywhere it really it, it really does it's very people ask is why I don't like to hang out with people in groups unless it's gonna be really casual because like I, people act differently in groups than they do one-on-one -on -one. I like one-on-ones with people if you, I want to get a real person. I don't want to get someone that is going to speak the same around other people. And there's a lot of people I know like that. There really is. You know, and all of us do to some extent. All of us are not going to say the same things in a group that we are going to one on one. You know what I mean? But some people really change in groups. Like drug addicts really change in group. It's amazing. It is crazy. So, but anyway, so there it is. So I'm going to remind you. As I do at the end of every video, to brush your teeth, to floss, and to say your prayers. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. Happy Easter. And peace. And Ascension Day is coming up this week on the 26th. So, uh, yeah, just a reminder. All right. Bye.